Why is DB negative? Have you ever gotten confused when comparing loudness and audacity because you forget that minus 3 dB is less than minus 1 dB? We're all about that in today's Stewart's Audio Tips. This question came in from a reader. Who do you know that might have questions too? Share this video with them. Go ahead. I'll wait. I usually add questions to the end of my list of potential topics to cover, but this one was so relevant to the previous tip on RMS that I wanted to get to it immediately. It's so confusing. Why do we express dB in negative numbers? Trust me, I hear you. When I first started studying acoustics, the whole decibels thing made me a little bit crazy. I know, that explains much. <laughs> Here's the lowdown. Decibels, or dB, is a term used for two, actually several, more on that in a bit, two different scales, both of which involve audio, but which are not related. So these two scales are used to measure environmental sound and digital signals. Also, decibels are not units of absolute measure, they're units of comparison on a scale. So you can't compare measurements on one scale with measurements on the other scale. The first scale is the one we're accustomed to hearing with respect to airports and rock concerts. In that scale, decibels are used to measure sound pressure level, or SPL. It's literally a measure of the pressure produced by the sound. The scale goes from zero, which is no sound at all, up to however loud the sound may get. 120 dB SPL is the point at which most humans experience ear pain from the sound. If you read articles about acoustics and treatment of performance spaces, this is the decibels they're talking about. There are several different decibel scales used in acoustic measurement, and each is used to compare sound in a slightly different way. This tip would be an hour-long documentary if we went down that road. The second scale is the one we use in digital audio production. In this scale, decibels are used to measure how close the digital signal is to the maximum capacity of the equipment it's on. As you can imagine, this means every piece of equipment that uses digital audio has to be calibrated differently so that the scale remains consistent. Anyway, by this means of measurement, zero means no difference between the signal and the maximum the equipment can handle. In other words, the audio is as loud as it can be without being artificially distorted. Since we typically don't want audio to be distorted, we don't work in the positive side of the scale where the audio would always be louder than maximum clean signal, and therefore always distorted. Thus, we work below zero in the negative numbers. And as you remember from grade school, all numbers get larger as they proceed away from zero, so negative three is less than negative one. The center line of our waveforms in dB scale is arbitrary, with the waveform varying up and down to zero at both extremes. In Audacity, the centerline value is determined by the setting in Preferences, Interface, Meter dB range. Restart Audacity after you change this, by the way. This is opposite to Audacity's linear scale, which varies from zero, no sound, to one, the loudest the system can handle without distortion. So Audacity's one in linear scale is the same as zero in dB scale. Here's an illustration of the same waveform expressed both ways. So, the nutshell answer is, we measure digital audio in negative dB because the positive side of the scale is the distorted ugliness that nobody wants to hear. Till next time, I'm Stuart.